All right, super excited time. First off, we're on a Vanguard map, but that's besides the point. We're smashing open Double Pendulum Evolution. Um, actually, really looking forward to messing around with what is in these boxes today. So, hopefully we do get play sets of everything. But first off, you guys know them. You guys love them. Uh, they've been a big help on this channel, uh, getting us the things that we need. Uh, BigIncollectibles.com, please check them out. Uh, their 10th anniversary is going to be coming up next month. Uh, it means there's going to be a lot of great opportunities. And that means we're going to have some cool things to show off you guys, or for you guys coming up in the next month or so that they are doing. So please keep that in mind. Check out BigIncollectibles.com. Uh, like I said, very wonderful. You know, every once in a while you'll need something, and sometimes you can't find it. I mean, I check their site, but I need random stuff, and usually they have it, so please check them out. So, Pendulum Evolution Box Numero Uno. Now, unfortunately, Europe last weekend was a heavily dominated zoo format, and this set was designed to be essentially the ass end of the pendulum format you know links are coming out in what is it a month and uh pendulums are still a viable deck especially with the stuff they're getting in here um the supreme king stuff definitely helps coming out in the core or code of the duel set in august uh, but this is essentially the missing chunk and this was supposed to be a structure deck i'm actually surprised they made it into a set in the tcg but Let's dig into this. This set what each pack has two ultras and three supers, I believe. Alright, so we got double iris right off the bat. And the uh tuner? Harmonizing magician. Uh double iris, this is the one that uh Okay, this is the pendulum dragon substitute. And add a pendulum graph from your deck to your hand. I know these scales are pretty good. Um, Zephyrus did get the reprint, and these, these look extremely beautiful. I'm actually super excited to be holding those. Alright. Next up, we got Black Fang. Very nice. And another Harmonizing. Oaf Dragon looks the same as it did before. Tuning Magician and Ariane <laughs> getting the exact same rarity. I don't know why she's not an Ultra, but it's okay. Ooh, we got... Time Star Magician. Two level four Magician Pendulum Monsters must be first special summoned, or exceed summoned uh, with the above materials. Detach wooden material from this card, add one uh, dark spellcast type monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, cool, these are both dark. Of course. Or graveyard, or face up from your deck. Once per turn, if a pendulum monster is in your pendulum zone or monster zone, be sure about a card effect. Spend one spellcaster from your deck to the graveyard instead. That's pretty good. Oh, and then Fatty. Um, Astrograph Sorcerer, Scroll Crabat, uh, this is kind of weird, and Super Enlightenment, that also looks kind of weird. Oh, Scroll Crabat as a reprint was okay. Ooh, Purple Poison, I believe this is the, yep, Fusion Dragon Substituter. Um, Star Pendulum Graph, uh, your opponent cannot target spellcast type monsters. Uh, you control with spell or uh, spells or effects. If a face-up magician pendulum monster leaves your monster zone or pendulum monster zone, add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. Card's busted. Exemplar and Dragon Pit. I like the fact that this whole deck can be essentially hollow now. Our Catrillion Harmonizing Magician. Oh, which one do you sub for? I don't know, this doesn't sub. Uh, blah, 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 plus four of the monsters. Finish this card to control. Plus four of the monsters from your hand, field, or graveyard. One each. Plus some one supreme cat dream. Ooh, this brings out Zark. Uh, I doubt we're ever going to play that. Oracle of Zephyr actually looks kind of cool as a super. Not as good as the secret, though. Mwahahaha. Ooh. Uh, which one do you sub for? Synchro Dragon. Double Iris. Ooh, that actually looks interesting as a super. Another White Fang. Uh, Aristograph. I've heard some boxes only got one of these. Monolith. That's a very good reprint as well. This set's really weird in terms of its ratio constructions. 
Aristograph and the Zark Summoner. Doo doo. We got what, two pendulum calls now? No, no, that was some Zark. Another harmonizing, double iris, Hulk in combination. Man, the rest of the metal post stuff. Stuff like Gold Driver and stuff are in here. Another harmonizing magician. Double Iris, a Zephranu, Zephraxi, and Rescue Hamster. Another harmonizing magician. Uh, the Poison Fang Magician. What do you actually do? People like this card. Let's return. Uh, if a dark spellcaster monster battles before damage calculation, activate this effect. That monster gains 1200 attack and then destroy this card. Wow. And then if this face of card was destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can target one face of card on the field and destroy it. That card's actually really good. Yeah. Now I understand why they say you never want to kill it. Oh, well, got another time gazer here. Trap card. Your opponent cannot target magician. Cannot target spells, cast type monster control, will trap cards or effects. Uh, you can only use each of the following effect. You can target one pendulum monster in your monster zone or pendulum zone. One card your opponent controls, destroy them. Uh, if this effect did not destroy two cards, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. Interesting. So it has built in. Ooh. Echo Oscillation. You can target one card in your pendulum zone, destroy it, then draw one card. Only use the effect of Echo of Oscillation once per turn. Interesting. All these new cards. Oh, got another Aristograph. Very nice. Double Iris. Ori Hulk. Oh, that's an Ori Hulk. That's Crimson, right? Ooh. Pendulum Reborn, Scout, and Falakens Cannon. Double Iris. White Fang. I'm in it now just for these super uh, Zephra cards. I love Zephyrus to death. Magician, chop card. Ooh, that looks. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like we're missing a exceed. I could be wrong. Ooh, Dragon's Mirror got another reprint. Dragon's Mirror might be the most expensive card in the set after a while. It's a whole lot of the same thing after a little while here. We're uh, just chugging along for these hollows. Oof Dragon. Time Star White Fang. It's okay guys, because the ride never ends. We got another box to open. I'm kind of curious to know what my ratios are going to be. Harmonizing, Odd Eyes. Double Iris, Pendulum, Squirrel Corbat. I think we got two Squirrel Corbats now. I think we only got one Pendulum call. Oop. And last pack on the first box. Is it really only one call? Hmm. Holy crap. Wait, do we not even pull Pendulum Call? As a super? Oh, we did. It must have been Summoner's Art that fooled me. Oh no, we got one. Wow, talk about short print. I made the supers on this set super hard to get. Interesting. Alright, box number two. Let's see if we can pull another pendulum call. That would that would make my day. It'd be cool to have a place out of everything in this set. But set ratios often prevent that. Remember guys, we're not interested in the Ultras now. We are interested in these Supers. Time Star, Astro Guiding, and Flockhunts Cannon. 
the Pendulum reprint set. And, ooh, Unwavering Bond. I also think we only pulled one of each of these. A seasoned Harmonizing Magician, of course. Oracle and a Pendulum Call on our early pack. Ooh, Rare Mouth, oh, Archery and Cindric. I don't think we pulled either of those in the first box. White Fang. Monolith and Zafranu. Time Gazer, of course. Another Monolith. God, it looks so ugly. Hey, at least Sleep Forts are budget-esque now. Harmonizing, Safranu, and Dragon. Pulse. Aristograph, Double Iris. I just call this guy the Zark Summoner. Echo of Oasis, or Oscillation. So, like when you're all alone. And like, you're just like, hello, hello, hello. Oh god, he's in here too. No, if it was counter. Dragon's Mirror, Noble Dragon. Come up. Most boring pack opening, 2K17. Hell no, we won't go. Ooh. She looks nice as a super, too. I can appreciate that. Oak Dragon, Hamster, and... I think I was called the Pendulum Evolution. But yep, there's a fusion monster in this set. Metal Foes. Adamante. Sorcerer Geezer. Yeah, there's also an Xyz in here. I love it. Time Star, I understand. Pendulum Reborn. Does this target the extra deck too? Yep, extra deck or okay, good. Unlimited Blade Rooks. Any cool misprints? Nope. Still chugging along. Almost done. Almost done. Don't leave me, guys. I don't want to open packs alone. Hell no, we won't go. We're still gonna open all. Ooh. I think we have three Skullcrabat Jokers now. Each box only has one pen game call. So far. Oh, we got Double Arch Centric. Blade works. The purple bank. One more pack after this, and we will have survived. Opening up the mystifying magician set. Oh no, this box did have double pendulum call. Not bad. Alright, well we got all of our sets of our Magician stuff. I'm very happy about that. We got three Pendulum Calls in the Hollow, which looks extremely nice. We have multiples of each of these over, which is very nice. So guys, please check out our good friends over at, you guessed it, BigInCollectibles.com. Uh, now we have the stuff to tinker around with Magicians, which I'm very excited about. and. Guys, look forward to more stuff coming from them later on next month. Alright guys, as per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you turn on notifications, make sure you guys get those updates when I'm posting videos, and I'm out guys. Deuces. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you guys check out BigNCollectibles.com, and please check out their Facebook page in the description as well. Once again, thanks for watching and have a good time.